Thank you. Good evening, everyone. How you doing? Good. Good to see you. Welcome to the third night of our 40th anniversary Ohio State University Jazz Festival. Uh, we've had some wonderful concerts already. We had the uh, great Bobby Floyd with his trio here Wednesday night. And we had last night the debut of the Ohio Show Band. Throughout this month, we've had many, many, many uh, workshops, uh, different kind of lectures, all kinds of things. This has been a very, very, very cool time here at Ohio State. And we're gonna continue tonight, tomorrow night, and the night after that. So we have some wonderful stuff ahead for you. We want you to think of this as a celebration of jazz. Not a music style of the past, but a living, growing style rooted in the present as embodied by Vincent Chandler and the musicians you're gonna hear tonight, and music style with a bright future. As you will hear tomorrow, when you hear all of our university students perform throughout the day, and on Sunday, when we feature many of the finest high school musicians throughout the state. Tonight, we feature five of the finest jazz players in the nation, and I am so fortunate to call them my colleagues, and we are so fortunate to call them faculty members here at The Ohio State University. Ladies and gentlemen, Anthony Stanko, Kevin Turner, Andy Woodson, Jim Rupp, and Sean Thunder Wallace, the Ohio Jazz Tech.
Thank you very much. That's Anthony Stanko. Kevin Turner. Andy Woodson. And on drums, Jim Rupp. I'm Sean Thunder Wallace. And we are the Ohio Jazz Tech, the Ohio Jazz Tech. Uh, the first song that we play for you uh, was an arrangement uh, by Andy Woodson of a uh, Ray Brown tune called Bam, Bam, Bam. And uh, then we followed that uh, with an Alan Holdsworth tune called The 16th Minutain. And the one that we just completed uh, uh, means relentless in Portuguese, Irrequieto, and uh, my pronunciation is probably not very good, uh, but relentless. And and we're going to continue on uh, with an original composition uh, by our trumpeter Anthony Stanko called "The Juggling Act."
Thank you. All right. So, so that little three song mini set started with a composition by Anthony Stankel called The Juggling Act. And uh, then we featured Anthony on Stardust. And then uh, that last one, again, is by Anthony Stanko called Keep It to Yourself. We're going to end this half of the, the concert before we bring out Vincent Chandler, second half. We're going to end this half with a, with a tune uh, by a great guitar player named Adam Rogers. This was actually written for a Chris Potter uh, CD. The name of this is Rumples.
Thank you very much. Anthony Stanko, Kevin Turner, Jim Rupp, Andy Woodson. I'm Sean Thunder Wallace. We're the, o <laughs> we're the Ohio Jazz Tet. We're going to take a 10 minute intermission and we're going to bring out Vincent Chandler. Thank you. Thanks again for coming out to the 40th annual Ohio State Jazz Festival. And uh, last night uh, was the debut concert uh, for the Ohio Show Band. On Wednesday was Jazz Club Night, uh, where uh, Bobby Floyd and um, his trio and uh, featuring Brian Olszewski were on the same stage. Um, make sure you come out tomorrow night, too, because uh, Byron Stripling is our uh, our headliner, he's playing with the Jazz Ensemble. Um, and there's also a piece that was, uh, uh, that was written by uh, Anthony Stanko uh, that's being premiered on that piece, uh, on that piece, on that, uh, on that concert. Um, and uh, there's been educational offerings uh, as part of this festival. Uh, matter of fact, tomorrow morning is our Jazz Workshops. Um, it's intended for high school age uh, students that want to get an experience with jazz. Uh, we always have an annual uh, jazz band camp, which is uh, the summer. It's in June. You can go to our website, music.osu.edu, to find out details about that. And um, 
uh, we had, as part of this festival, we had a number of uh, master classes, um, some taught by uh, Byron Stripling, some taught by uh, uh, Bobby Floyd, and immediately preceding this concert, actually, there was a uh, master class done by Vincent Chandler. And uh, so, anyhow, uh, I've known Vincent for uh, uh, a while, <laughs> And uh, we played with a lot of the same bands and a lot, a lot of the same people in Detroit, uh, where he is from. And uh, Vincent's one of the last uh, uh, musicians to tour with Joe Henderson. Uh, before Joe Henderson uh, passed away, he's played with uh, um, uh, uh, just yeah, with uh, Roy Hargrove, with a number of. Uh, I mean, he's played with everybody, and uh, he might be the he might be the the best trombone player that you you haven't heard of. Um, he might be the best trombone player that you haven't heard of. He's a terrific uh, musician, and uh, uh, he's as good as it gets. He's also a great composer, and all of the music that you're about to hear on this half of the show are original compositions by Vincent Chandler. Uh, Vincent is also uh, the director of jazz studies at Claflin University, which is in South Carolina. And uh, uh, he's a wonderful friend, and uh, I've learned so much from him. Let's bring him out. Vincent Chandler. Good evening, everyone. And I really, I really appreciate you all um, welcoming me to your campus. You have a very beautiful campus, I might add. Almost as beautiful, no, I won't say that. <laughs> Almost as beautiful as University of Michigan's campus. <laughs> I was going to not say that so that I, I, w I want to keep you on my side. I don't want to. I'm waiting your first solo. Go ahead. Yeah. <laughs> this composition, uh, I want to, th this is my arrangement of Nature Boy. And um, what I considered when arranging this, I thought about the last words of the song. And it says, the greatest, the greatest thing you will ever learn is just to love and be loved in return. And I just imagine how sad it would be if someone learned that in their last days. And, um, and they live somewhat of a loveless, maybe even a selfish life. And then they learned in their last days that the greatest thing is to love and to be loved. Uh, so I, I wanted to actually make the song more sad than it originally is. You'll see um, I, I changed some chords, and um, I added a canon around in the solo section with a, a single melody you'll hear everyone play. At, at first, they'll play it in unison, and then they'll move into uh, polyphony. Uh, here it goes. Thank 
Thank <laughs> you. 
This next song is original composition that I named after two of my favorite, well, two characters in one of my favorite movies called Mo Better Blue. The song is called Bleak Shadow. Thank <laughs> you. 
last composition was called Let Me In. It came with the feeling of a, pre a predominant number of jazz ensembles will be tromboneless. So it's just uh, a sentiment that I, I know I share with a lot of my trombone brothers who want to be welcomed to the stage of some of the great quartets and quintets. And, uh, it has that passion desire to be part of this jazz world. This next composition was inspired, well, I'll just, the, the next song is called Empty Nest. And it's inspired by a Thad Jones composition called A Child is Born. And that song is a beautiful melody ce celebrating the idea of a child being born. But at the other end of that spectrum, or further down the spectrum, there's the moment where children leave home and the feeling that comes with that. And there's, of course, there's hope for a child to be successful, and, but there's also a type of sadness that comes with um, now having a home without your children in it. So this, this composition is called Empty Nest.
As Professor, Professor Wallace mentioned, I did have the great opportunity to play with Joe Henderson, uh, one of my favorite, all-time favorite jazz saxophonists. Um, I remember talking to his manager. I didn't get to talk to Joe Henderson until I actually got to California. That's where the, where the, where the gig was. And um, 
I only spoke to his manager. And I said, um, can I give you my address so you can send the music? And he said, get this record, this record, that record, that record, this record, that record. That was the music. So that was something I hadn't experienced at that time. And I had a week. I had a week to, to go through all of those records, learn the music for that show. Um, a really popular Joe Henderson tune is called Inner Urge. And one thing he said about that tune is that tune was inspired by his inner urge to be successful in New York when he moved to New York. And it was, it, it was an expression of his passion and desire to be successful in New York. Uh, so in remembrance of Joe Henderson, I have a composition called I Remember Joe that is influenced by inner urge.
Spedons, 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 Put a We have one more for you. Um, you know, uh, one thing I I, uh, I had forgotten to say when I was uh, doing a little bit of the introduction for Vincent is, you know, Vincent actually is the one that taught me the diminished scale. And uh, I'm, I'm sure you remember. Yeah, we were at my parents' house, right? And uh, um, I guess I had been playing some stuff that was diminished like, but I didn't, I didn't know the scale. And so this man here, I credit to uh, teaching me the diminished scale. Uh, <laughs> but anyhow, it's been great uh, having uh, Vincent on campus. Uh, he interacted with the students, and uh, he's just a, a terrific influence. Uh, been powerfully influential on my, on my musicianship. And uh, so anyhow, uh, this last one, uh, I'll let him talk about it, but this is going to be our last selection. Please uh, come tomorrow night uh, to see the Jazz Ensemble featuring Byron Stripling. So I'd like to add to that story. Uh, I think Sean was around 14 or 15 when I first met. I'm teaching him that diminished scale. Meanwhile, he's already playing like Charlie Parker. So <laughs> he, he was truly... Some, sometimes to call someone a child prodigy might even be a slight to how much work he actually put in to be as good as he, he was at such an early age. So I don't know if he worked himself into a, a prodigy status. I, I think that's probably more like what happened. 
He was a, a fine musician at a very, very early age, recording several records in his teen teenage years. This last composition, you, usually, uh, we usually do about, I usually average about six songs an hour. We play uh, gigs with three sets, and um, I had already programmed the night of, of original compositions, and I felt that one set really needed something that had a happy feeling to it, something that was kind of fast, that would uh, end things on a high note. And I started singing this melody. Simple melody, simple chords. I sketched it out, took it to the gig, and uh, now it's something that I like to play on a regular ba basis. And this, the song is called Bliss.
Vincent Chandler. Again, Anthony Stanko on trumpet, Kevin Turner on guitar, Jim Rupp on drums, Andy Woodson on bass. I'm Sean Thunder Wallace. We're the Ohio Jazz Tet featuring Vincent Chandler. Thank you so much. <laughs> 